We live in very contentious times, don't we? But maybe there never was a time when people did not disagree, fight, and even want to kill one another. Even popes and theologians have had conflicts, and even saints, like today's two, Pope St. Pontian and St. Hippolytus, who it's been said had himself elected the first anti-pope. In the end, both were exiled to hard labor in the island of Sardinia's mines, where they died from their mistreatment and have been hailed as martyrs. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I wonder if during those years of conflict, Pope Pontian and Hippolytus, if they ever prayed for one another. You know, Jesus told us to pray for our enemies, and Pope Francis has repeated this difficult challenge to us today. Quote, We too often become enemies of others. We do not wish them well. And Jesus tells us to love our enemies. We even think that Jesus is asking too much of us. We want to leave this to the cloistered nuns who are holy. We want to leave this for some holy soul. We don't think this is right for our everyday life. But it must be right. Jesus says, no, we must do this because otherwise, You will be like the tax collectors, like pagans, not Christians. Let me just ask this question and let each of us answer it in our own hearts. Do I pray for my enemies? Do I pray for those who do not love me? If we say yes, I will say, go on, pray more. You are on the right path because it makes us look like the Father, like our Father, It brings out the sun for everyone, good and bad. It makes us more like the sun, Jesus.